so it looks like Lua just got ported into the front end. Look at this thing. Roblox has officially just ported React Lua, Roact Navigation, Pico Match Lua, Chalk, GraphQL, Lua, Apollo Client, Lua. Everything's Lua, Lua all the way down, just Roblox. 80,000 lines of JS translated into Lua. It appears most, are, uh, most of this is driven by their JS to Lua compiler, which is not too surprising, right? Um, is this a bad idea? Is this a good idea? I think the thing is that a lot of people sleep on how good Lua is as a language. Lua is an amazing language. There's, there's only one really, I'd say, one big kind of pitfall of Lua that I can really think of. And I'm not even sure. One base indexing honestly does not bother me. It mostly doesn't bother you either, right? Most of the things you do are going to be like 4x in some sort of iterator, right? So it's like it doesn't really exist for you to be upset about it as this one in, one one based indexing. That's just it just doesn't exist. I get it. One based kind of annoying, whatever. But I'd say the real the only real downfall to the language is how they handle array lengths. And that's it. Uh, here, I'll show you this. Lua. This I think is a tragedy. Con, uh, let's see. Uh, a equals um, there we go. So I have a Oh, yeah, I forgot. Also, their interpreter sucks. So if I go uh, print A, I'll get a table. If I go table insert um, A foo, I get uh, print A. I still get table. If I go print length of A, I get a 1. Now watch this. If I go A 2 equals nil, and I print length, it's still 1. If I go A 3 equals foo, and I print length, it's still one. So until I set two to something, two equals a bar. Now when I print it, length is three. It determines the length by the first nil that it encounters. Null terminated arrays. Yes, nil terminated arrays. I would say that is the biggest downfall to Lua. The reason why it makes perfect sense, um, but there are no, there are no, uh, what's it called? There, the, it, This is not a fat pointer. A table is not a fat pointer. It does not contain the length. And so I really don't like that at all. Uh, also, a table is an array, which also is an object. So it's kind of the same thing. And so I think that's part of the reasoning for it. And B, it just doesn't have the length property. So it's not there. Because how do you determine length? If I were to go like this, if I were to go B equals an array, and then say B5 uh, equals a uh, bar, is that an array or is that a map? You don't know. And that's also what makes um, Lua just so easy to embed is it's a very simple language. It's a very, very, very simple language. And so besides for that one foible, I think Lua is one of the best simple languages ever. It's extremely easy to teach to kids. It's extremely easy to use. Uh, if you have a good require system and you're a little bit judicious about how you write it, it's also really easy to write. The LSP, Sumneco LSP, uh, you can take that and you can use something that's kind of like JS doc, and you'll even get types throughout your code, and it'll even catch a lot of the ways you call functions. And so you get like close to typing as if it were TypeScript. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty nice. Um, I really, really enjoy I, I have actually genuinely really enjoyed it. Does it have a standard lib? Yeah, it has like OS. There's some basic stuff that it has. Uh, but it, no, it doesn't have typed arrays. It does not have typed arrays. It has table. Um, I really generally like Lua. And so I'm surprised actually that Lua isn't more used. I've used a lot of Lua and all the projects that I built in with Lua have originally started with me going, I do not like, I do not like this. This is bad. This is bad. Then I use it a lot and I go, actually, this really isn't that bad. This actually is pretty good. I'm pretty shocked about that. And then it just, it just gets better and better and better. And then my usage of Lua has been Honestly, one of the most positive things ever. So do I think this is surprising for Roblox? You're telling me the company in which is known for having its Lua that it's championing for that uses it for all of its game engine that's using it for everything wouldn't start using it for front end? You know that they have Lua, Lua JSX? Have you seen that? Look at this thing. It's like already there. It's a thing. So it's like they already have most of it done. And so is it a big surprise? No, I don't think this is a big surprise. In fact, I'm actually shocked it took this long for them to say, you know what? F it. We're going to go full Lua support. We're just going to do Lua all the way down. Obviously, they wouldn't do React 18 server components and all that. 
That's just like so much effort. And I don't, you know, it's a very unproven approach. Uh, people seem to really like it, but uh, I don't know what the ending path is going to be for server components. And does it make sense for, for Roblox to go down that route and implement something that's significantly more complicated? Probably not. Another like argument you should have in mind when it comes to Lua is let's say you're writing a, a game or some sort of embedded piece of software, and you want part of it to be updatable via the internet or to be able to download stuff, to be able to kind of live update it with very little effort. You can embed MicroPython, which I'm not even sure if it's still a thing anymore. You can embed your own DSL. You can embed V8 and JavaScript, or you can embed Lua. Now, making your own DSL would probably be horrible. I would just strongly never suggest doing that. There's almost never a reason to do that. Uh, MicroPython, I don't even know if it exists anymore, but it is. it was, it may still be a thing. Uh, doing, Java, doing JavaScript is so difficult. It will be a team of one to three people for like a year. It's genuinely hard to do. That's if you use V8. Now, is QuickJS easier? I don't know if QuickJS is any easier. It's a single C file with 50,000 lines of code. If you need to do modifications of any sort, it might be pretty difficult, and I don't know its testing surface and how correct it actually is. Um, and then finally, if you do Lua, you will, you will be able to do Lua in probably an afternoon if you're talented with embedded stuff. If you're not talented, maybe two days. How's Lua's error handling? Lua's error handling is actually really great. Uh, that's another thing I really like about it. If you want some air handling, um, can I, I don't know if I can do this uh, in here, but let's just try. I'll do a function foo, and I can go like this, error, this errors, right? And there we go. We have a function foo. Um, Uh-oh. There you go. Uh, foo, can I call it? Perfect. This errors. If I don't want it to throw or crash the system, I p call, and then I can pass in the arguments that I want right here. So if I go p call print, you'll notice that it was unsuccessful, and here's the error. That's pretty good. Like, I like that. That's at least better. So it's not the worst. It's pretty much errors are asserts, unless if you wrap the asserts. So generally, I actually think that Lua is pretty good. Pretty good for one of these languages. It, yeah, you're right. It's not, it doesn't mark the function as error throwing, but it also doesn't have types. It does have coroutines. I've never really done much for coroutines. It can go multi-thread and all that, so I don't know. What will I get if I learn Lua? You get the ability to work in any embedded system that needs uh, uh, that needs dynamic stuff, and it's super simple to learn. Lua is easier to learn than JavaScript. Lua is easier to express your ideas in, I think, than JavaScript because you tend to have less availability to express them. So that means you just tend to have a more constrained way and typically really constrained way of doing things makes it really simple to implement stuff. Lua is amazing, uh, let's see, to be used in embedded uh, scripting paradigm. There are various bindings already, for example, Postgres, embedded systems, cars, etc. Yeah, Lua is really good in the embedded world. And I think that's what, uh, unfortunately, the web chose JavaScript as its main character. And some people really hate JavaScript. Some people really like JavaScript. The same thing can be said with Lua. Any dyna highly dynamic language has a, a huge amount of problems just by the very nature of it being dynamic. You know, it isn't the web uh, the embedded world? It is, but it's a different type of embedded world. I don't know. I would strongly recommend taking some time to learn Lua. And you know what the best part about learning Lua is? You know what the best part is? Is once you learn Lua and you get done uh, with Lua, you can go in here and you can configure your NeoVim experience with Lua. You know why? Because Lua is extremely embeddable. And it's even embedded in NeoVim. Right? It's just the right way to go. I don't know. I'm really excited about this. I think it's super cool that uh, they're doing this. Will this make Lua more popular? Probably not. Will people? Should, I, should you adopt Lua instead of JavaScript if you're building a website? Probably not. Real talk, you should probably not do that. Uh, I would personally say you shouldn't do that. But... Roblox is doing it because they feel that it's better. So that's super cool. And it probably does work better for Roblox considering their expertise, right? They write the compilers. They have the teams. They have everybody all aligned. They own the entire stack. It just makes sense for them. It's too late. I already have 50 million in funding for my Lua back startup. Well, let's go. Let's go. I actually do strongly recommend learning about um, Lua. I think, it's a very, I think it's a very good language. And you get to configure NeoVim. And if you ever have an embedded project... You'll, you actually have something in which you can embed with easily. 
Like it's 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 it it is a great little thing to at least have on your radar. And I'm glad that you at least minimally listen to this because now at some point in your life, if you ever have an embedded project and you're like, I need a DSL, you'll go, hold on, I'm not gonna create a DSL. I heard I can embed Lua in like a day. You'll go and you'll embed Lua in a day and you'll go, oh, this is fantastic. And not only that, but when I say Lua, I'm secretly saying Brazil because Brazil gave us Lua. Brazil mentioned absolutely a gen. <laughs>